Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the amplitude, midline, period, and phase shift of this uh, trigger function cosine. And also, we, we need to uh, draw a complete period. We expect to get something like this since this one is a, a cosine function. So let's start with the first part. And the first thing you need to do is to uh, adjust your original um, function to look like this one you see here where we have only x minus c so for that reason i'm gonna factor out this 4 pi and then inside of the parentheses i'm gonna have x minus 2 and if you are not sure about this part you can go back and multiply 4 pi by the quantity x minus 2 and see if you get uh, the equation you start from and let's not forget about the plus 2 okay so now this equation you see here looks like the one i mentioned at the beginning this one and we can look to uh, the information we need the amplitude the a is three right this one the um, period period will be two pi over b and you notice b is the number in front of the parentheses so in our case is four pi so it's two pi over four pi which can be simplified as uh, one over two or point five that tells me that this period is a very very small one 0.5 right uh, if you look to the amplitude of a tree uh, then uh, and the phase shift also yeah that that is very important to remember uh, the midline the midline which i should have started with probably is this y equals positive 2 and uh, the last thing the phase shift the c in the equation uh, is also two so now we have all the information for graphing one complete period so i'm gonna draw an x and y axis okay and uh, i'm gonna draw this midline of y equals 2 and then I'm looking to this phase shift of c equals 2 that means all these points you see here are going to all these five points are going to be shifted to the right two units but also the period is one half and that means the these two points uh, are going to be 0.5 away so uh, my graph is not going to look uh, accurate but it's going to give me the exact information the, the exact information about the five points you see in the picture so that means i'm going to shift the graph to to the right also let's let's do this amplitude of three uh, one two three that will be five right i'm gonna be sure i'm not gonna go over the five and one two three uh, that will be negative one i'm gonna be sure i'm not gonna go less than negative one and like i said i know this phase shift of two that will, will move these first points in these five points two units away i'm gonna be right here okay so that is the first maximum and now i'm going to go to the second maximum this one right here and this is the moment where i'm going to adjust my graph a little bit i'm going to exaggerate the things just to make the graph easy to be done and read okay so uh, i'm going to move 0.5 away so let's say this is 0.5 away from my original point right that will be the second max so let's put some points just to be sure we we know what I, we're talking about the first point is two and um, the ma 
maximum is 5. The second point here is 2.5 and 5. So uh, I think it's better to put some coordinates on this graph. And also now let's go right here in the middle. That will be this minimum of this uh, cosine function. How do we find that? We're going to add the two x coordinates of the max, so 2 plus 2.5. And this point, like I said, is in the middle. We're going to divide by 1 half. So that will be for 1 half times 4.5. That will be 2.25. So the coordinates of this point here are 2.25. And this is a minimum of negative 1. And now we need two more points which are right here, one in the middle between the max and the mean, and here another one between the mean and the max. Now let's start with the uh, first one. Like I said, it's going to be in the middle, so I'm going to have to have one half uh, of 2 and 2.25. So that will be one half times 4.25. That will be 2.125. So this point here will be 2.125. And the midline, if you remember, is nothing else than 2. And let's put the coordinates of the last point we need, this one here. Um, and again, that is in the middle between 2.25. And 2.5. So again, that one half times this sum. So we have one half times 4.75. That will be 2.375. Uh, Let me double check that. Yeah, 2.375. So this is, these are the coordinates of this point, 2.375. And obviously that 2, because this point is on the midline. So now we can do the graph. And uh, that's it. On my next slide, you're going to see a better graph, an accurate graph, first of all, from all point of view. This, this graph you see here has the correct points, but remember, uh, from here to here, we have two units, right? Uh, and the period of this function is 0.5. Uh, so, yes, uh, right here, this is the accurate graph in this window. You see it's a very, very skinny graph, let me call it like that. I'm going to have another picture which shows you a better view uh, of the same graph and what a last one. So you can adjust the view sometime on some uh, graphing calculator. Uh, in this case, I use GeoGebra. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.